I just want to say that I don't understand why I'm so lucky. I have a phenomenal group of friends and an amazing family, and I just constantly am blown away by the people that I have in my life. Lately, I've been starting to understand love on a very different level than I ever did before. I'm really starting to understand more about unconditional love. Love that has no limits, that has no boundaries. And through that understanding, I've started to realize that there's no, there's no limits to love. There, there shouldn't be any limits to love. I love my family, I love my friends, and I will love them no matter what. There isn't much that some of these people could do that would cause me to quit loving them. This level of love is something that I'm sure I've experienced before and I've, I've understood it on some personal level, but I haven't really been able to comprehend what it meant. To love someone so much that no matter what they do, you're going to love them and be happy for them. It's a crazy thing to really think about, that there is no conditions on love. There's no reason for it to be limited, because it isn't limited. Love is endless. Right now, I love tons of people. I can love my family, and I can love my friends, and a good number of my friends are family at this point. There are people that I would do anything for, that, that I could never see myself not loving. And because of this new newfound understanding, I'm starting to question a lot of things that I previously thought I knew for certain. For example, love in relationships. If I can love so many people in my life, why is it that I couldn't conceivably love more than one person at the same time? Why does it have to be limited who I love? Not saying that that will ever happen, but should I automatically assume that it can't? Is it impossible to be in love with two people at the same time? Clearly it's not. We've all proven that on a daily basis. There are multiple people in our lives that we love, so why can't we have love in relationships with more than one person? Why can't I be in love with two different people at the same time? Why is that impossible? And simply asking that question, whether or not that ever happens, has just kind of opened my mind to some new possibilities. New ways of looking at things. I shouldn't be restricted in my life just because I've known something the entire time. Or thought I've known, more accurately. There are things I've been taught throughout my life, things that I've thought I've wanted, and I still do want. But just because I thought something for so long doesn't mean that it is the right thing or that it's the only way to be. For example, marriage. I've wanted to be married since I was a very young man. I've always wanted to be married. Marriage is something I've always wanted. I've always wanted to fall in love and find that person I'm gonna be with for the rest of my life. I have wanted that for as long as I can really remember. And now I still think it's possible, but I also think about it in a different way. I don't see it as an end goal anymore. I see it as something that might happen. I may find that person someday. And that would be beautiful if I find that person. The thing that really brought this up for me today was just talking about different types of relationships. Although I don't know if it'll ever happen, I can conceivably see myself being in like a polyamorous relationship at some point. This interesting new understanding of love doesn't change or lessen love in the way I knew it before, it expands upon it. For example, I'm still in love with tons of people. I'm in love with several ex-girlfriends. And the thing is, I don't need to let that go. I never need to let that go, that's mine. I can keep that love, that's fine. I don't have to be afraid of loving somebody and then also loving somebody else. I don't have to quit loving them just to love somebody else. And that's an amazing thing, to be able to keep that love in your heart. Oops. To be able to keep that love in your heart and still love someone else. Why can't we do that? Why do we have to move on? We never truly move on anyhow. Those emotions, those memories, those things we've experienced are always going to be there. There's no reason to try and cast them aside. They're important foundations, important parts of our life. It's always going to be a part of me, these people I've loved. So why should I be casting them away? Why should I push them out of my life? Why should I fight those memories? Those memories are my fucking memories. I'm sharing them with tons of other people, people I've experienced those with, but I bring them to the table and I share them with all these new people. Why 
Should I pretend that that wasn't a part of my life? Why should I push it away? If I hug someone, everyone I've ever hugged kind of floods back into my brain. All of those beautiful moments are now present in that one moment. And that's fine. It's okay to be in love with multiple people. It's something that's perfectly fine. It's something that always happens. It's something we all do every single day. And that's the understanding I've kind of come to today. That although it can be scary, or it can be difficult, or confusing, and maybe that's not even what we want. Maybe we're afraid of it because it's not what we've been taught or what we've learned. But even if that's the case, it doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it different. And different can be terrifying. And right now, I'm just trying to explore and learn about that. That's what this time in my life is about. It's about exploring my soul and figuring out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. Thank you guys for listening. If you liked the video, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm sure there will be plenty more on this topic and other things as more experiences come into my life. I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And if you want to hear more about this or follow any of my exercise vlogs, go ahead and subscribe. More will be coming in the future. Thank you and have a very good night.